What is up, everybody? It's your boy Chris Gage coming at you two times. And we got a weekly race video for y'all. But before we begin, feel free to check out the Sunflower Gifts. What's the Sunflower Gifts? You may be asking. Well, I'm glad you asked. The Sunflower Gifts is a small business gift shop right and old by my bestie, Carissa Swayzer. And over there, you'll be able to browse from a number of sunflower themed items or non sunflower themed items that you never thought you wanted until now. The link to her Etsy store will be in the description for y'all to check out if y'all are interested. In the background, I'm watching WoW while I'm recording this. So don't get a strike on me, please. But we're on the flag drop. <clears throat> we out here dropping that flag. Not like that, though. But it is our second Hot Wheels Bounty Race. This time with a finish line that will have much less controversy. We are racing cars in block E. We're picking cars by random here to take on this Hot Wheels bounty card that we picked up from the bin as well. And it is the Speed Machine. A casting that in present day 2023 or later on whenever you're watching this. I don't think we've seen this yet, and I don't think it'll ever come out again. But some of these castings might in uh, um, in here might be able to challenge that. So we're gonna see who can collect the bounty off of this speed machine. The way how we do this first, we have a group of five racers. Or, or first, we have to set up the five challengers, and then afterwards, we will have. The bounty run begin. So without further ado, let the Hot Wheels bounty begin. Alright, first group is up. We're going to have Looney Tunes, uh, the Scorcher, take on Swap Buggy, right as it's called in International. Take who for whatever reason. Let's race. And the swamp buggy has failed, but your winner is Scorcher. Up next, we're going to have Battle Spec. Take on. Twang thing. We all know who the winner is of that one. Twang thing. Up next, twenty fifteen AK's treasure hunt, I believe. Chicane versus Turbot. Oh, it was a close race, but your winner is Turbot. Up next, we got Power Pistons. Having a hard time remembering these names because, you know, I got too many cars. Monoposto. Let's see who wins it. They're coming. Oh, it's a close one. I saw a bump. And, well, let's just say that it goes... To Mono Posto. Up next, Twang Thing once again will take on Scorcher. We're on the track, let's race. Somehow, and by the way, I'm spectating as I'm watching it from behind the scenes here. 
This car, for some apparent reason, has a hard time getting off the start. But when it gets going, it gets going. Twang Fang wins it. Up next, we have... Monoposto taking on Turbot. All right, y'all, let's race. It's a close one. And it's going to go to Turbot this time. So congrats to Turbot on getting the win. All right, this race is to determine who's going to be the first challenger. Will it be Turbot or will it be Twang Fang? Looks like the speed didn't work that time because we found ourselves a first challenger, which is Turbot. He'll be the first of five challengers to take on the speed machine. All right, time for group two racing. First, we have the Unobtainium One. Taking on... Pedal driver. Let's race. Wow, I didn't expect a very close race at the end. But your winner is still Unobtainium 1 with those bling wheels. Haven't seen those in a while. Next challengers. We have Ode number 5, which I believe is collected number 1 in the blue card era. Take it on. Silhouette 2. They're still making this car, by the way, for those who are wondering. And the ever-reliable Silhouette 2 has crossed the line and got the win. All right, next challengers. Baseline. Taking on Boulevard Bruiser, Battle of the Bees, because it's bees in the trap and bees in, bees in the winning circle or something. Let's go. Winner is my favorite car of the 2010s, Boulevard Bruiser. Y'all know I still like the muscle cars. All right, next challengers are Bull Whip. Take it on. Shark Cruiser. What are the earlier models of it, too, by the way? Hence those ultra hot wheels. Let's race. And this old school one wasn't that fast. It goes to the newer version of this casting called Bull Whip. And this is actually the re or the pre-retooled one, the older model. All right, let's find more challengers. Coming back are Silhouette 2. Take it on. Unobtainium 1. And from behind, Unobtainium 1 gets the win. All right, up next, let's see if Bullwhip could try his luck against Boulevard Bruiser. Still the Battle of the Bees. The Bees are in the trap, so let's get it going. Oh, yeah, one of those controversial finish line mishaps. Because, despite what y'all see, I have saw the Boulevard Bruiser cross the line first. We're going to give him the win. 
Let's see if the Boulevard Bruiser can try his hand trying to beat out the Unobtainium One. Well, he bumped the finish line in his favor. But, once again, controversial Boulevard Bruiser aside, Unobtainium One has won it. So therefore, he is your second challenger. Now it's time to bring on who's going to be the third challenger. Time to find our third challenger. We're going to have Rising Heat. Take on Circle Trucker. Let's go. Well, I'll be damned. Rising Heat is going to win this race. We got our next challenger coming up. 2014 GK Treasure Hunt Rescue Duty. Take it on. Shredded. We haven't seen that casting for about 15 years. So hopefully Hot Wheels haven't forgotten about it. Even Shredded said... Don't you forget about me. Why? Because, well, damn it, he won. Alright, next challengers are... Sinistra. Which I'm still trying to figure out how that casting got retooled. Taking on Aerodynamic. Now, this casting has gone through a retool. Where should you notice this retool? Well, here's an older tooling of this, so I'm pretty sure some of y'all have seen or probably got the Mishimoto Series 1 version of this casting. Right here, that little indent in the base right here is not present on the 2023 issue of aerodynamic the rest of the casting is still the same so it's just a modification to the base of the car regardless let's race you know for being such a perfectly balanced hot wheels car it has a hard time winning because your winner here is sinistra We got our next challenge is arriving. Bulletproof. Take it on. My favorite GT racer in this silver. It's not even Zamac. Need I say any more? My favorite, GT Racer, has won it. Next up, we'll see if Shredded has what it takes to beat out Rising Heat. Rising Heat is your winner. Next up, Sinistra. We'll see if he has what it takes to hold off the almighty GT Racer. Well, that lasted uh, as quick as it did. GT Racer wins this race. All right, here we go. GT Racer, take it on. Rising Heat. Let's see 
who will get it done. Well, it's going to go to the GT Racer as he becomes the third challenger to try to take on the bounty of Speed Machine. Now it's time to, now it's time to bring up the, the Group 4 challengers. All right, time to find our... Or, or our fourth challenger. But first, we have a matchup. We're going to have Ren and Rig take on the brigade of Skate Punk. Let's race. It's very easy to spot that one as uh, Ren and Rig gets the win. Some crazy camera work by me, but I'm working on it. All right, next up is Acceleracer taking on uh, X Racer as Riveted takes on Stuckar. Let's race. That was an easy one right there, and it goes to. Stock car. Next challenges we got are Drift Rod taking on Bad to the Blade, which has not seen the mainline release since becoming a treasure hunt ten years ago. Let's race. And by the way, judging by the mail line list that has been released so far, it's not making the mail line in 2023. So it's going to be over 10 years since that casting has been in the mail line. But still, regardless, Bat to the Blade has won it. Our next race sees GP2009 taking on Total Disposal. Haven't seen Total Disposal in a while. Let's say I had a let's let's say I had like an Earth Day release, but that's about it. But let's race. And your winner of that race is. If this camera uh, ang or if this camera work makes me makes you motion sickless or uh, sickless, uh, sickness. If this camera angle makes you motion sickness or whatever. Let me know. Winner is GP2009. Next challenger is... Ridden Rig. Taking on Stockar. Fun fact, Stockar has been retooled once. Hence the fact that it's double riveted. But, guess what? It's... Is your winner. All right, Bad to the Blade is going to take on GP2009. Both of these open wheel racers, one for the future and one from the past. There is another GP racer out there, which is GP2006. Which, if those of you are wondering if, I, if that casting is ever going to get into the main line or in my collection, hold your breaths, people. It ain't coming anytime soon. It might come. I don't know. Pun intended. Let's race. Easy close race. And it goes to... GP2009. Alright, this is to determine our fourth challenger. Will it be Stuckar? Or will it be the two thousand or GP two thousand nine? Let's go. Cars are on the track. Now it's time to drop the gate and race them. Our fourth challenger is going to be 
Instacar. Now it's time to bring eight more castings on the track to find our fifth and final challenger. All right, fifth group of challengers are gonna be found here within these eight. First up, we have Jerry the Mouse, being represented by Power Pipes, taking on, recognize this boy, HW Rapid Responder. I remember when I started grabbing these ones, which were metal and plastic, because I knew how fast they were, and I found a fast one. But it didn't take, but it took me until the, I think it was the 2018 Holiday Hot Rods when I found the fastest one that became an unstoppable juggernaut. And there's no differences here because, as you can see, Rapid Responder wins once more. All right, next race we're going to see. Twinduction taking on Road Rockets. Or not Twinduction, Torque Twister. Twinduction looks. You know what's funny? The Torque Twister and Twinduction almost look the same, but not really. Let's race. We can already tell who won this race just by who crossed the line first. Or who opened the gate first. And it's Torque Twister. Alright, next race. Bubble Matic. Take it on. Carbonic. First edition model. Oh yeah, I should say this, since this is the, or since I am uh, filming, filming this weekly race video as a wrestling fan. How many of y'all are liking this uh, AEW All Access show? Let me know in the comments. Let's race. Has nothing to do with this race, but I saw I just give out a poll for any subscribers who are also wrestling fans out here. Winner is Bubble Matic. You know it was a treasure hunt at one point? In this race, we're going to see Fastasm. Not Phantasm. Fastasm. Taking on Roaster. Let's race. Yeeks. Fastasm didn't even cross the line at all. That was crazy, because Roadster is your winner. Er. All right, well, next race is going to be Rapid Responder taking on Torque Twister. I said it right this time. And well, we have our winner, Torque Twister. All right, let's see who will win against Bubble Matic and Roadster. Well, we know that Bubble Matic is the B U B B L A M A T I C that wins. All right, let's see who will be the final challenger to enter the bounty run. Will it be Torque Twister or will it be Bubble Matic? Let's get these two on the track and, well, let's get it on. All right, we found our winner. It is Torque Twister. So, 
Here is how the bounty run is going to look like. It's going to be Speed Machine. Take it on all five of these cars. They're going to try to take the bounty from Speed Machine. So without further ado, let the bounty run begin. All right, the bounty run starts with Speed Machine taking on Turbot. After the first one, we're gonna switch lanes to see if the outcome is the same. So here we go. Let the bounty run begin. Whoa! What the hell? So this guy won it. Kinda shocking. We have our first ever bounty change. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, Turbot has collected a bounty. So now he is going to be hunted by the rest of these four cars. What a win. Well, now the hunter has just become the hunted. As we see if Turbot can hold on to his collected bounty or will it be passed on to Torque Twister. And one car flipped upside down. I fixed it. Let's race. This could be a very short run for him. Switching lanes now. Well, his bounty ended. Or uh, well, his bounty ended abruptly. Your winner now is Torque Twister, as he collected the bounty from Turbot, who collected it from Speed Machine. Well, now the same applies to Torque Twister. <laughs> Excuse me. Can he hold on to his bounty, or will it be collected once more? Yikes. He actually uh, won that one here. Ah, uh, the flag stays up. <clears throat> so we're going to run them again. Let's see what happens. And the flag still stays up. So in the event of that happening, we're going to go with where the flag fell down the first time around. And it fell down in favor of Torque Twister. So what that means is that Torque Twister still keeps his bounty despite the flag not coming down the other two times. Damn. All right. Torque Twister now has a little bit of a formidable opponent in GT Racer. So let's see if Torque Twister can hold off his bounty against the GT Racer. Let's race. Well, I'll be damned. Tor Twister won that run. Let's see if he gets it on the outside turn. And just like that, Tor Twister still keeps his bounty. I thought he was going to lose it. But he proved me wrong as he won it, or kept it, basically. There's one more opponent left, and that's Unobtainium 1. Can he collect, or is he going to fail? 
All right, will Unoctadium 1 collect or will he die? No, he will not die, but he might fail. Let's see what happens as he tries to take on Torque Twister. I try to make it humorous and funny, at the, or humorous and serious at the same time, and I might have failed at that. So let's go. Well, well, well. Torch Twister is shortly becoming a formidable racer. And just like that, we have ourselves a winner. As Torque Twister has not only collected the bounty from two cars, or from one car who collected from the previous, he has managed to maintain it by beating out three other cars in order to win the Hot Wheels bounty race. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is today's weekly race. Do you like these Hot Wheels bounty races? Like I said in the first one that I did for April 1st, let me know in the comment section down below if you think I should keep this race type and uh, do it more. But until then, that's it for this video. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're brand new watching, be sure you subscribe and also turn on the notifications bell as well. It's your boy Chris Cage and I'm coming at you two times and we will see you at the next video.